And I'm happy to report that we have hot and cold running water in the barn, in the dairy. It's very exciting. You may be asking yourself, what are they doing setting up their milking parlor pieces in the milk house over the milk tank? Well, when we originally came up with a plan to set our tank, it involved us and a few strong friends. Uh, but right now, we can't have people over, so we had to resort to plan B. Because as you may remember, we moved it in here on using the tractor and then the dolly. Then we built these nice, lovely, beautiful walls. And we thought, how are we gonna lift this up? Well, we don't have any other type of lifting equipment, but we thought if we could just set something over it, lift it off, quickly move out the dolly, what could go wrong? What can go wrong? We shall see. Like many things on the Tomarosa, it's either gonna be surprisingly successful or an abject failure. That's not done much. That was almost disastrous. Oh, behind the dolly. What'd you say? I didn't say anything. I said, wow, no team. I mean, on the, the dolly. Getting the milk tank safely down. It's another big step in getting the dairy up and running. Here comes Stacy. He picked up the pasteurizer off a big truck that stopped on the highway. Did we get a pasteurizer or the Ark of the Covenant? <laughs> so it looks like it shipped on its side without legs. Or a satellite. It looks like a space satellite. It does. This is our 30 gallon bat pasteurizer. Good morning. We have been really busy in here and we haven't done a lot of filming, so we thought we'd catch you up on what you missed. I guess we should start with the ground up. So along the floor, uh, we did parging on the bottom and then coating where the wall and the floor meet. I'm very pleased with how that turned out. And then we did a lot of electrical, we've been doing a lot of electrical. Um, as you know from the rough end, that we did put a lot of wires in the wall, but we did also do some surface mounts, so we got some outlets, and most importantly, we have some lights. Turn it off so you can see them a little better. What a difference. It's literally like night and day in here. So this is the processing room. So now let's go to the milk house. Oh, you see we have a port here. This is for passing the pipeline between the milk house and the processing room. So we got the bulk tank set. So this was a big deal. And then in the back corner there on that shelf is where the condenser is gonna sit and that is roughed in electrical wise. Um, we did the same concrete work in here. Uh, there'll be sinks against this wall here. We're going to start looking at putting those in. And then more like this is for the vacuum pump. So we'll be able to turn the vacuum pump on from in the milk house. And lights. Alright, let's go to the milking parlor. We need to oil the door. Alright, we got lights in here too. And then more electrical in the back. And we did all the concrete stuff in here. Now we haven't pulled the lid off the parlor pit yet. So once I do that, I'm gonna have to go down there and do the same thing with the parging and the coving. Uh, this is an outlet for our little vacuum pump. Right here, which is currently sitting on the floor for our temporary setup in case buttercup calves before we're ready, which I'm sure will happen. This whole circuit is sized uh, for a bigger vacuum pump in the future, uh, three horse. That's where we're at. We're gonna start 
So electrical is basically done uh, with the exception of specialized equipment. For example, once we get the pasteurizer moved in, uh, that'll have to be wired in and the water heater, but all the rest of the circuits are done. And now we're going to start on sinks and plumbing. Alright, so we had a calf, but we don't have a dairy yet. So we need to work on that. So we need running water out here, so that's what we're working on now. It's been two days and numerous trips to the hardware store since we brought in the sinks. But I'm happy to report that we have hot and cold running water in the barn, in the dairy. It's very exciting. So, hot and cold running water. And then I did do a few things. Um, one is I plumbed in drains, which some of you might think that that's not a big deal. but. Growing up on the milk truck and being in lots of dairies, many dairies don't have drains. They just let the water go out onto the floor and it splashes your legs and everything. It's very annoying. So I actually did drains. Um, the other thing that I did was because dairies have really hot water, because you need hot water, is the hand sinks would always scald your hands if you weren't careful. So on both hand sinks, I put in thermostatic mixing valves, which basically take a little bit of cold water and the hot water and mix it before it gets to the hot faucet. So even though we got 160 degree water coming from the water heater, the hot water coming out on the hand sinks is only 100 degrees, so it won't scald you. Uh, so this is the processing room. We got our hand sink here and our three bay wash sink in there. And then the milk house, we got our two compartment wash sink and our hand sink here. Plus we have hose bibs uh, located here. Oh, and in the parlor we have hot and cold running water. The parlor is not conditioned like the rest so we actually used a frost free uh, spigot, both hot and cold. And so we'll have a uh, hose hanger above here and a uh, hose coiled up. So this is the milking parlor hose. The time has finally come to uncover the milking parlor pit. It's been covered since we poured the concrete practically uh, for safety reasons. But it's going to be like an archaeological dig because I've lost a lot of stuff down there. So we're going to uncover it and see what life was like back in circa 2019. Yeah, it's dirty. Yeah. Trash. A lot of trash. Some electrical tape that I was looking for. Uh. Here I am in the pit. It's dirty. It's really dirty. Uh, so I think we're going to take a little time and do some cleaning in here, but uh, for steps going down into the milking parlor, uh, what I used were semi-truck frame steps. They're made out of aluminum. Um, a lot of milking parlors have cast concrete stairs leading down, and I've seen steel ones. Every place that I've been that has steel, though, seems to always be rusting out by the time I'm working there. So I decided to go with aluminum. I decided to mount them to the wall so it's easy to clean underneath of them as well. There's nothing that goes down to the floor. On the floor here, lying down, are the two top pieces of our stall. So these will eventually be up here on posts. Um, but you can see that they do correspond with the holes in the floor. And some of these holes you'll see there's these copper wires, and this is part of our equipotential plane uh, that exists throughout the dairy. So all this stall work is bonded to all the steel in the concrete, which is also bonded to any concrete outside. And I also have a pigtail here, so in the future, when I add a pipeline, I have a piece of a uh, copper wire coming out here too to bond the pipeline to. 
So equipotential bonding is very important in dairies because cows are very sensitive to stray voltage. So by bonding everything together, everything has the same potential and the cows can't feel anything, which is what we want. Working on installing stall work in the parlor are very exciting. So uh, these stalls actually came out of a neighbor's barn. And when they removed them, they cut the pipes off just to the concrete. So the uprights are all brand new pipe that I bought a while ago. And I took them to a place in Spokane and had them hot dip galvanized. So they're going to stay silver. I started prepping these. Um, once everything's installed, we'll come back. We're going to paint all the mild steel orange like it was. And yeah, we have two stalls. Uh, this is the front piece here that will go across here. And then there's gates on each side of this post. That's what these are for. So the cow will come in this rear gate, stand here, and exit through this gate. So there's uh, tap holes in the pipes that I drilled and, and tapped uh, before I had them galvanized. But when they galvanized, it kind of goobered up. So I'm just chasing the threads with a tap. I like the view. Things are coming together. So I think this is about it for today. Today we are setting the milking parlor stalls into the holes, which I got ready yesterday. And then I did some prep this morning. Um, just to help with uplift, I drilled holes and added these bolts that uh, the grout will set upon it. And when I say grout, I'm not talking about what you use in the bathroom between time. I'm using, talking about concrete grout. It's a very high strength concrete product or cement product, technically. Um, but yeah, so we gotta set these in, get everything plumbed, and then we'll grab all the posts in, and then, then we gotta wait for that to set before we can do anything more. But, uh, we also did get the milking parlor pit pretty much finished up now. So we got coving all along the bottom where the wall and the floor meet, and then we got both ladders installed, and it sort of cleaned out. There you have it. We're continuing to work on our dairy. Stacy's uh, finishing grouting in the uh, milking parlor today. And now we have uh, water and lights and we have a parlor. So we're moving along and looking forward to getting that done. Again, thanks a lot for watching and following along on our journey. And Stacy, do you have anything else you would like to add? Keep on trucking.